Well, hey, Pisces, how about a little advice for all of these retrogrades? We've got Pluto, Saturn, soon Neptune, soon Venus, all giving us a chance to review and reflect upon recent events, decisions, transformations, love experiences, dreams, fantasies, structures, all of that. So let's see what's going on with you, Pisces. And then we'll get some advice and we'll clarify. Okay. Let's see here. The Wheel of Fortune. Change is afoot for you, Pisces. Recent changes that you're reflecting on are changes coming in through divine aid. So we have a um, black and white card here. We see... A building on fire, we see bottles smashed, we see a crowd like in a church, and then we see like drag queen shoes all around this wheel that looks like a chessboard turning. Now I tend to interpret a wheel of fortune as turning in your favor. It's a change of fortune. It's change, it's divinely ordained. There's nothing that you can do to stop it. Um, and it will change your fortune. Yeah. So let's see what's going on with that, Pisces. Underlying energy, one card. We have an eight of wands. Somebody is sending out some communication. So this uh, eight of wands is about communication. It's also about action. I feel like a Frida Kahlo here is sending letters stamped with love or waxed over with love here um, coming out of the desert so that's interesting it's like you're going to receive a message Pisces or you're going to send one or some kind of action but it looks like something is changing for you and that is that you're going to hear from somebody that you've been wanting to hear from who's very far away perhaps in the desert um, I happen to have a Pisces dad and I live in Arizona, so maybe I'll send my dad a letter. Um, that's, that's the kind of thing that that makes me think of. Um, but you may need to communicate with somebody yourself, Pisces. Let's find out more. This is a change. It's like it, it is a season of hearing from old people, people from the past. Um, when Venus goes retrograde, we are currently in the shadow of that which means she will cover the ground we're in right now when she goes retrograde it's the time when old lovers pop up check in see what where life has brought you that's happened to me in a venus retrograde i was born in a venus retrograde so if you're born in venus retrograde that could mean that you become more comfortable and love is easier for you um <laughs> And it only happens every 18 months, so enjoy it while it lasts. We'll have Venus in Leo for until October, so it's a good while. Okay, let's get some advice, Pisces. First of all, what are you releasing? The Eight of Wands, it's the same card with the Frida Kahlo, all right? This is fire, creativity, suit of willpower, but it's also very specifically a message or an action. To me, this may mean that you let go of a desire to hear from somebody, or, and sometimes when you let go of something, it'll come in when you're not thinking about it, or you need to send a message. So you decide, you know what's right. Uh, we will clarify. What ought you to embrace? A two of pentacles, a very practical energy, the pentacles, earthy. It's about balance. It's about finding a nice, grounded balance. She's out there in nature, naked, under the stars. Simple. So this is what, so there's some kind of a message that needs to be released, surrendered, let go of, sent. And then there is you just hanging out and enjoying the season, it feels like, and just trying to stay balanced. Um, what are you revisiting with all of these retrogrades? You are revisiting your work. So you're thinking about the work that you 
um, are skilled to do, perhaps work you were you recently did. She's drawing here. So it's also about skills. You're looking at in you know in, and then in scales of time like with Pluto retrograde it could be like your whole life um, your life's work that's what it it seems like you're you might be reviewing on that grand scale or, or it could be quite you know with the brevity of a planet that moves much faster um, that's re returning over a shorter span of time more recent um, like the Venus so but it's 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 very practical you're just supposed to embrace the practical and earth the element of earth right now um, and i'm also seeing how these pentacles are echoing this wheel um, in a way right we have pentacles the, the the round shape of the wheel in a way what you since you're waiting on the wheel of fortune and it's going to turn no matter what you do um, you send this message and then you just kind of appear to be staying in your practical, earthy um, life. You're, you're relaxing. What does the tarot want you to know that's hidden from you? Temperance. So there's waiting. I've already told you that. You can see she, the angel has one foot on land, very grounded. That's your earth element. Also in the feelings and water, that's your element, Pisces. And she's measuring the water back and forth she's feeling her feelings she's taking time to know how she feels temperance also often pisces i get messages for you about um drinking um so if this is a, there's something about um, your feelings or your drinking habits i thought of that here as well because we see this this change here um, the fire on the house, like, like this is a destructive force, um, in your life. So this, the wheel could turn and bring you into this, or it could turn and bring you up into this. These are the more positive, um, ways that the wheel can turn for you. Um, so there's something here about somebody else's or your drinking, um, addiction, your emotions it could be it doesn't have to be um a, an addiction to drinking like you could have a romance addiction and so like temperance is telling you you know moderate wait um can you right if you can't you might need some help that kind of thing um and that could be the work that you've been doing and that that you're continuing to do so you might have been putting in some work on on changing this and finding ways to have temperance. Um, interesting, Pisces. Okay, so the future for Pisces, a four of pentacles. So it's a small practical card here. I definitely want to clarify this. Um, it's about having control. You have your feet are on, you're, you're hoarding your pentacles here in the future. Um, but sometimes a four of pentacles is very positive. Right, because control and hoarding and and you know resisting change and kind of having a small world view those aren't positive things. But when the Four of Pentacles is positive, it's that you are, you know, you're working on this. You you made it from two, right? You're embracing the beginning here, finding balance, being grounded. You're reflecting on work that you've done recently, and then we see you here, like on the solid ground of the four things that you've earned. You've made it this far. And so you can you can you can relax there for a minute. Or you can stand on the foundation of what you built here in a four. Fours are very stable. So we see you ahead in a very stable energy. Underlying here. Uh-huh. Wow, there's some really beautiful energy on the bottom of the deck here to make this a little bit more of an interesting reading. And of course, we'll clarify and see what we can bring into that. So we have this really fiery, beautiful, sexy Queen of Wands energy. She is the queen of the law of attraction. And I think whenever I make a video, my dog wants to eat his food. It's hilarious. Uh, my cat often wants to come up here. 
but uh, you'll hear some munchings and crunchings in the background. Uh, we have here the Queen of Wands, and I was saying the Queen of the Law of Attraction. That means what you focus on, you manifest, right? So if you look towards the positive here, um, this will come in. It looks like you're definitely aware of the positive, of the results of working, you know, taking your time. And we do see more sense of you waiting and hanging out, the hanged one. Um, yeah, I'm caused to think about how, um, what's been in Pisces? Saturn, right? So this might be about that very Saturn, earthy, structural, practical energy that has been moving through you and maybe check my work because I actually didn't review this but that Saturn I think is in Pisces or may have left Pisces briefly and will return um, so look at your Saturn information here but there's definitely a change of perspective that you're kind of stuck with until the wheel turns until you see what you need to see and until you have worked through this is this is all waiting energy and it's worth waiting for because we have here the happiest card in the tarot the sun is a card of authenticity and joy and childlike um, feelings of, of wish fulfillment inspiration um, so it's worth changing your perspective now in past readings for the entire collective i have seen us revising what we mean when we think of the sun. So this, if this is your wish fulfillment, if this is happiness, if this is who you are, um, you have been working on looking at that in a new way with this hanged one, right? You've been revising what it means to be happy, revising what it means to be you. And I think we are all doing that. Um, but this seemingly simple, um, practical, work that you're doing, all this waiting for things to change that you're doing, and in the meantime working on yourself, um, this kind of, it seems like you want action, you want communication and action, but you're being told it's not time for that yet. This has to change first. And that's what the queen here, who has the ability to take action, uh, as does her counterpart, the king of wands, um, all the ones are about willpower and action and inspiration. Um, she is looking at the hanged one on the table here. Uh, that waiting energy um, that is that weight that is between her and her manifestation, which looks quite beautiful. All right, well, let's clarify this, Pisces. And see what else we can learn about your retrograde season. Oh, let's see here. Introspection. When you want action. Waiting when you want to go. There's some, a lot of frustration here for the Pisces. <laughs> Waiting for change. Okay, so let's see. We got this Eight of Wands. What is this? You're supposed to release this. Are you supposed to take action, make, send out a communication, or just quit thinking about it, quit waiting for it? Let's see. The Chariot. Here's Cancer season coming in. This is the card of Cancer. So that that's that feeling of wanting action. It's that momentum. Uh, maybe you just need to wait until after the summer um, solstice, something that quickly as we enter Cancer season. Um, the Empress. There is Earth herself. Beautiful. These are really powerful cards. Really powerful forces of nature. Um, and then there's open-mindedness, curiosity, the Page of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, there's like, if you have a young person and you're waiting to hear from them, you might want to just let that go, Pisces. Um, it doesn't mean it's not coming. It maybe it just comes, you know, soon, but next season, next zodiac sign. Um, but I can really see you as this empress 
with all this chariot, you know, wanting. Um, and then this page of swords, this young energy is curious and distracted. It's that Gemini energy um, and is not having the focus to take these actions and to make these communications that, that you're waiting for. This reading is all about you waiting for something. And so if you're going to release this, it simply means quit waiting for it, quit, quit focusing on it. Focus instead on your practical, earthy day-to-day -day and finding balance within yourself. Okay, so let's find out more about that, what you're to embrace, the Two of Pentacles. Okay, there's your hanged man. There's that waiting. This is what you do while you wait. And the reason you're waiting is because you need to see things in a new way, right? You're going to hang upside down and the divine's going to hold you like that until you're like, oh, when I look at this upside down from the bottom, from below, um, from a different direction, I see. I see it in a way I never saw it. So this could be very much about seeing something from somebody else's vantage point. Um, so there's a more practical energy. You plant your seeds, you wait for them to bear fruit. There's lots of waiting. So much waiting for you, Pisces. And the Hierophant. This is structure. Energy of Taurus. Um, we have in Taurus. Uranus is doing a lot of changing over there. Um, so we have the Hierophant. This could be a teacher. You're a teacher. It's structural power. It's tradition. It's history in the grand scheme. Like the history of the world kind of. Um, so I, what I think is that you're actually possibly somebody that's really invested in, in changing relations of power. It's what you work in. Um, and you need to look at that in a new perspective. It, it may be causing you some discomfort, um, a lack of balance. Um, you're working so hard. You're up against the Hierophant, the Pope himself, like... The big guy right here is your adversary. You're just a modest peasant, right? Um, so the, the, you need to find balance here, and you need to find a new perspective. And this is the work that you need to be doing right now. Forget about that communication. Forget about taking action. You need to see th something from a whole different perspective before thing, things are going to start moving again. So, I, I see your frustration. I mean, you're the queen of wands here. You're free to Kahlo, ready to send out art, information, take action. The wheel, you're waiting for it to turn. And so, if you're the queen of wands, you have this jammed up urge, this chariot energy. You're the empress, right? You have all of this power. You might feel like you speak for the earth herself um, against the Hierophant, right? So if you're, say, an environmental activist, this would be, um, this is a, telling you to address something and to keep it much simpler. Okay, so what are you revisiting? You're revisiting your work, right? We saw the Seven of Pentacles. Here's the Eight of Pentacles. It's the next card. So what are you reviewing here? the lover. So this could be a relationship that you recently got into. Um, you might be looking at that. Is it um, making you better at your work or is it interfering with your work in some way? It's also a choice, the lovers. So let's find out more. The world, an ending, okay. Uh, what's the other piece here? Uh, Illusions, projections, and fantasies, a seven of cups. Choices also. The fact that we get the seven of cups and the lovers tells me that there's like a choice here. Um, hmm. So you're choosing you're, in your work, there's a choice, right? And it's about the end of the world. It's about the end of what is and the beginning of the next thing. Right, the world's both. Um, and much like the wheel, the world has the four fixed, the icons of the four fixed signs around it. Around it. So remember, this is under the wheel of fortune. You're waiting for this change. Your choice of how 
to do your work for changing the world is what you're reviewing. And you're looking at like all of the feelings and projections and fantasies and hopes and fears, all your feelings about that. Um, to be reflecting on a choice you made to end something, it doesn't have to be the world. It could be an ending and a beginning. So this just happened recently and it's, it's related to your work. Um, yeah, you're just reviewing it. All of the feelings that you had. It doesn't mean you change it. It doesn't mean you're wrong. It's just you're looking at it again. And there might be more to see there. It looks like maybe with a little perspective, you can see where you projected and fantasized. It's very Neptune energy. Neptune is going retrograde at the end of June here. So um, you might consider that. All right. What the tarot wants you to know, what's hidden from you, is temperance. More waiting energy. There's a burden to put down, or the. Okay. You finished something, an exertion of will. It was. You went from the eight, which is action, to the nine, which is exhaustion from long struggle, but also wisdom. Then you get to the ten of wands. You've done it. You've completed the task, and now you can put the burden down. Then what? Then there's a grief. I always feel this when I finish a major project. You grieve for it. You have feelings about it before you're ready to move forward. And that's what temperance is saying. You need to understand your feelings. Of course, if you're, you do have the drinking problem coming up, you can see the spilled cups there. Those are feelings, but there's also often Pisces... I get this with you, so take or leave it. And then there's more manifesting energy, the magician. Another major arcana. There's some really big cards on the table here in the clarification and um, above with that are all the waiting cards. And then there's also this, like the magician, number one in the major arcana. This is that the raw, kind of chariot, raw, animal, physical, wild, um, creative energy. Um, it's reminding you that you can, you have all the tools that you need to manifest the world that you want to live in. Um, but you're, the reason you're stuck, though, and not able to do that is that you're still carrying a burden of grief. Your feelings need to be processed before you can do this. And some of us are prone to like finding ways and even using work because we see the pentacles here so much in the eight of eight of pentacles. We can even use workaholism. Not I don't really have that problem, but this is one way to dissociate from reality to be a workaholic. Um, I have other problems and other ways of dissociating. No judgment if work is your thing. But if you use work here um it says you can put that down and just go ahead and feel your feelings whatever you're putting between you and your feelings that's this ten of wands things put it down if it's like obsessing about when am i going to hear from that person when can i take action i'm ready this is you know if you're you're kind of ruminating on this frustration that you feel that you're really powerless over because wheel of fortune temperance hanged one you are stuck here and you have no say in how long you're stuck. And we know that your absolute happiness, authenticity, and freedom, and joy, and wish fulfillment lie ahead. You're ready to manifest it. But before you do that, you have to feel the grief for what was. You have to let go of what was, the feelings of the past, before you're ready to turn towards the future. Do you see what I mean about turning towards the future? This figure is focused on these spilled cups. Here are two upright ones. There's a bridge. The bridge leads you over to a castle. So when you release this grief, which is important to feel it, then there's a new two of cups, which can represent love or justice. You pick those up and you go forward. So there's, at the very least, very positive feelings like joy, the sun feelings um, available for you once you complete the work of this grief here. And that's why temperance is going like this, because 
you need to feel this. And you might be avoiding feeling it. I get that sense. Okay, so here you are in the future with a four of pentacles. That one, I want to know about that. I like when your future is just obviously inspiring. And the sun shows us that. But let's see here. What's this four of pentacles about? Aha, uh -huh. a change of mind, movement. You can see this guy's got a woman and a child in the boat. All the swords represent thoughts, ideas, stories, paradigms. And the water where he puts his wand to move the boat forward, exerts his will, is choppy, and he's taking them over to peaceful waters. So what this is about is that you have a mindset. And this is why the hangman is here twice, and then you have this. There's a, something that you need to change your mind about. And when you change your mind, then you can take this whole your whole family over to calmer waters. What else? There's a two of cups. That's... That's what you have to look forward to. Justice. Also, soulmate connection. That's what you're rowing towards. And hermit. Another major arcana. Big energy. This is you in retrograde. You just simply reflecting on your pat recent past. That's what the hermit does. He's looking backwards down the table into the past. And that's where you find insight, the light, and you know, you you learn from your experiences. So, so yeah, that's what we have here. Underlying energy. Just a few really simple things. I'll come back to this future. Um, underlying we have working with others, a three of pentacles, everybody has something to add to the construction of a world. So there's a vision. We see that with the Queen of Wands and the Magician. You have a vision. You want to make it real. You want to work with others to make it real. Um, so young energy. Remember we saw the young energy here. This sort of curious, open-minded, distracted. This is earthy energy. Pisces. Um, I feel like this is somebody outside of you, the one that you're waiting to hear from or to work with, and they're finally ready to do it here. They have a real thing to bring to the table. Um, and this is the result of the period of going alone and healing and addressing the thoughts, the ideas, the stories, the paradigms. This is a, is a healing. And it's you who by this little page holding you up, <laughs> Somebody's holding you up. Um, the wheel is holding you up. But you might be kind of focusing on some little thing that's not the real thing. You think it's a young person, young people. They're holding you up. But while they hold you up, what's actually holding you up is the wheel of fortune. The hanged one, temperance. They're all saying, wait, um, you're still now in the future able to reflect on the past and gain wisdom from it. That's a very, very much about like looking at your thoughts, like the six of swords that I showed you where they, you know, when you change your mind, you get to calm down. That's a lot of power. You know, if, if you look at your thoughts and they're what's disturbing you instead of the outside world that you want to change, you can actually change your thoughts. You can shift your stories. You can reflect like the hermit on, and all the retrograding that we're doing, that it's very hermit energy, you can reflect back on that and get a different perspective, the hanged man, right? And then it will allow you to have this two of cups, balance, justice, right? Very practical balance turns into emotional balance. It could be a soulmate connection if that's what you're after. Um, it's a wish. It's your. It's what you want. It's what you want to feel. It's who you want to be. That's what this is about. You get to have that after you see things in a totally different way. So in, in the future, we see you really, I think, standing on the ground of having really taken a look at everything that you've built your life on. So this is that Saturn return energy. And also... Pluto, 
tran the transform transformation power planet going back into Capricorn, which is Hierophant structure. Okay. You can really read this Pisces as a big, giant environmental justice, social justice story. Um, or a very simple story where you're kind of waiting on a young energy um, to get out of their head, Gemini energy, and bring forward something really practical and real. In terms of timing, this weight appears to be a weight on a pentacle, Earth. That could be till Virgo season. We also see the chariot here. It could be Cancer season. Um, so it might not be that long that you have to wait. But in the meanwhile, we do see that we want you to do some work to um, to change. I'm kind of looking around because I relocated a card somehow. Um, so anyway, it doesn't matter. I have completed your reading Pisces. Uh, I hope this helps you. Um, have a beautiful day. All right.